Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hold on to your seats. You are about to engage in a listening experience unlike anything you have ever listened to before. We now present to you Adult Entertainment Radio. Right yeah, now. buddy. How's everyone doing? It's the Adult Entertainment Radio Show. It's uh, Monday the 19th of November. This is episode number 14, and uh, we're very sexy here after this very hot studio. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Usually it's fucking cold in here, and today, for some reason... It's like an oven in here. Yeah, it's like an old person's house. They knew they were, I was coming. I have an idiot. Could it be? <laughs> oh, okay. There you oh, go. So you're comfortable. Yeah. Do you want to move a little bit closer to the mic so oh, we pick you up? Is that better? Let's introduce... Yes, it's perfect. Let's introduce the guest here. We have, uh, for the third time back, Mr. Misha. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing Misha, good. Thank you. We can't pronounce your last name. Misha so. and yes, Wierzowski or so. Is is that close at least? Wizzikowski. Close enough. Okay. Close enough. Isn't it Wizzikowski or something? Wizzikowski. 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 There nice. You go. And we got uh, his uh, model gal friend Bianca. Bianca, how are you doing? Very well. And of course we have Brianna and Jaya. Hello. Hello, everybody. And uh, it's an, it's another show. Angie couldn't make it tonight. She was supposed to be on. She had some car troubles. Um. And uh, Snake just seems sketchy, so it's a toss-up if he's actually going to show up or not. And um, and if he doesn't, in the next ten minutes, I'll go on another rant, like we did last week. Well, fucking people going on to the friggin' show. <laughs> You're blacklisted. And then not wanting to f- then we'll fucking show up. What the hell? Like, what are we, we trying to pull here? Well, can I, uh, can I start you out with one, then? Because mm. uh, I would well, like to officially let's, announce let's my... Ball rolling. I'd like to announce Boycott. Uh, boycott uh, Underground Video in Jamaica Plain on Center Street. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I would like to tell you guys why. Underground video. You know we're still renting fucking videos, are you? I'm not renting them. I'm going there. I, I actually was going to buy shit from them because they... I went I went by. I just moved to Jamaica Plain. Okay. I was like, this looks like a like a neat little specialty shop. I'll check out and see what... And they actually had some good shit. Like, they had, like, Peter Jackson stuff from when he was in New Zealand. Like, Bad Taste and Dead Alive. Although oh, they okay. didn't... They didn't... They, they, for some reason, didn't have Meet the Feebles. Bush League, bro. <laughs> uh... But whatever that is. President's Carter's favorite video. <laughs> Was it? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I think so. Uh, uh, but yeah, so I go in and um, I talk to a guy who works there, and I'm like, "Hey, I noticed you guys don't have a copy of this. Uh, like, who would I talk to to like to, if you see if we can get it in?" And the guy told me like, "Yeah, no, I'll, I'll say I'll say something to the owner. Come back in like a week and see what's up." And I go in, and the guy, who I'm assuming this is Chippy, I didn't ask his name, uh, but uh, he looked like the little drawing of like the thing Chippy. that said what? Chippy's picks <laughs> for the movies there, and uh, <laughs> and so and like I and and he's and he just like it's just like dude, he was a douche. Like here's the thing, I like I understand like I'm a hipster asshole, <laughs> and I usually like look like one, but I was coming from work and I had like you know like slacks and like a button up on and everything. slacks. I did, and, and you know, it came out of your time machine from 1970. Yeah, exactly. Well, you mean the 50s? <laughs> yeah, it like anyway. Doc Brown in it, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I just Flex I capacitor. I talk to him and I and I say like you know like hey you know I stopped by on Saturday. Uh, the guy said come by and back like a week just to see what was up. Uh, and the guy was just a re- he was just a, a just being a dick. He was a douche. And the thing is, is that like, look, I understand. You know, nobody likes to hear what they should or shouldn't have at their store, or even if he is the owner or whatever. But like, dude, like you're you're clearly almost thirty, and like you know your hair looks wet all the time, even though it's just <laughs> greasy. And you work like behind the counter in like a retail job. Like you clearly <laughs> fucked up in life. <laughs> like you don't have to be like an asshole. Like because oh I'm and, and you know what the fucked up thing is? The movie I was asking for is Bio Zombie, which I'm sure none of you have probably Never. heard of. Don't even know. And it. it would fit for that fucking store because it is a 1995 movie from Hong Kong, and it's a parody of Dawn of the Dead, and it's fucking hilarious that's that would be specifically the kind of shit they would have and he was just and he like because i asked him about it he didn't even and that's the thing he didn't even suggest to me that was the problem he didn't even suggest to me at any point well would you like me to put in an order for it he just goes yeah i don't think we'll have that in for a while just being a dick that was specifically what he said to me i don't think we'll have that in for a while so boycott under video underground uh buy your shit on Amazon. There you go. Because Those greasy haired people. Greasy haired motherfuckers in <laughs> JP in their no, little half rate video not stores. Only that, dude, you fucking over J.R. Huffman. Who are you? Like, you fucking child. Like I'm I'm like I'm 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 only twenty six, but I'm very I'm a grown man, motherfucker. Like I, I like I fucking hand like I, I I fucking handle my shit. I have like a real job and shit. I you know have to wear a tie and shit to work. In like, a condom at night. Yep, every night. 
regardless of what's happening. <laughs> when you Whether give us, he needs it or not. When you give us a call at the studio, if you wear condoms all the time, 617-606-4122. And uh, if you're there and you're listening to us, you can watch us live on uh, aeradioshow.com. You can see it inside the studio. There's not much going on right now, but you get to see what uh, Raging J has. Bald spot. This looks very, very nice on oh, this fucking yeah, video. Right. I'm sure it looks fucking fantastic. You can see him get really, really animated sure. with his hands and his arms and shit. And I fucking turn into like Mussolini when I get like really you do. excited. It's all, it's all arms and hands and jobs and jobs. Hand yeah. jobs. Hand jobs. <laughs> very good. There you go. Very good, sir. We should just change the name of this to the hand job I know, show. We should count oh, the handy dandies. But well, how do we work that around the URL? Well, I, what, what I do is I always try to mention President Akata once every show. And if you listen to the last 13 episodes, he is mentioned almost every single time. <laughs> it's my little fetish. I have a fetish for President Carter. Jimmy Carter and hand Jimmy jobs. Carter and hand You jobs. can farm my peanuts any day. <laughs> <laughs> so how would you guys week? Would you guys do anything exciting? Anybody? Anyone? Anyone do it? <laughs> anything? I did. I just didn't want to jump all over it. Go I ahead. Just talk. Let's roll. Would you bang? No, I didn't actually bang anybody. But no. uh, unfortunately, our guest who uh, can't make it tonight, uh, she was nice. Bang her. No, Jesus H. Christ, already. She was nice <laughs> enough to ha- to get me into a press event for Comics Come Home, so that nice. was really cool. This guy was like like ten feet away from like fucking like Lenny Clark and Dennis Leary and shit. And did uh, you got some audio? Uh, I got audio of the show. They nice. had to cut. They had to cut the press event short, so they didn't actually do any uh, uh, like interviews. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right beforehand, but yeah, it was. Maybe we could get great like, show. Uh, Dennis Leary to like call in or Maybe. something I'd, at some point. I'd be like, ser- sorry, we yeah. missed your interview. That'd be nice. Uh, yeah, I'm because I have that clout. I know, I mean, but I'll, 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 call, I'll tweet uh, him or something. Excuse me, I was at your uh, your event that I totally got into with having no qualifications other than like <laughs> I know this person by proxy. Like speaking of people calling in, Alexa uh, Dos Santos is calling in at ten o'clock to promote uh, something because we're going to be doing a live broadcast a week from Thursday. Yay! Okay, um, because next because this Thursday, of course, this Thursday we go down the five. Yep. For the uh, Miss November Thanksgiving Final Five is what's going to be cut down to, and uh, me and Jr. will be drunk at my grandparents' house for Thanksgiving. Nice, it's gonna be there you go. <laughs> that sounds fun. Yep. It'll be good. He's he's like an oh, orphan yeah. around here, so yeah. yeah, he has no one. He's coming to I my really family's don't. event, but it'll I'd be make good. It. He's my family's very cynical, so I feel like they'll get along. Nice. Dude, my roommate actually is. He's literally doing nothing. And I feel terrible. The old man? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if anyone you knows. You don't want to spend your, like, sad uh, Thanksgiving with him alone. Yeah, that'd though. be really yeah, creepy. That just, yeah, no, because, he, no, it's just he's, well, he's. Fight him out. Where's he from? Fight him out. He's, he's not coming to my family. And, and where's he thing? from? I don't know. Uh, he's, <laughs> I know he's from around here. I don't know which city, but I know okay. he's from the area. Um, like no, his no, folks like live in his, his, like his folks are in, in Florida. I just moved in with the guy like two weeks ago. Yeah, like, I don't know everything. Have you guys any yeah. awkward moments yet between the two of you? No, not at all. It's mostly yeah. just it's mostly just him like wanting to talk a little bit longer than I do and me trying to like kind of like politely smile my way out do of the conversation. Do you sit on the couch together and watch TV? Or you know what? The funny I've literally never sat on the couch the entire time I've been in that apartment I don't so blame far you. because it's creepy. He's, no, well, the thing is is that he he's he's currently like not working, but he is. Look, like he's not like you know not fucking around like he actually is looking for a job a but he is currently unemployed but he's as a result he's always like pretty much on that couch yeah, yeah and yeah. I'm just like it's a two seater and like you're kind of sitting in the middle so you're clearly <laughs> not in the mood to share it anyway you know so what you should do not sat on it blacklight it just for the fuck of it so you so see what shows up okay yeah. so I want to know take a picture of the blacklight I that, oh yeah so yeah. that brings me a story of a blacklight my buddy was telling me a funny story about he was uh. Have you guys ever like looked on Facebook and jerked off to like people's pitches and stuff? Yeah, all yeah. the Pre- time, say, Marty. All the time, Brandon, I jerk off to Brandon, people's you, Facebook. Do you finger blast well, I'll to tell people's you what, Facebook? I, I yeah. have, but I've also those are usually the ones where I'm surprised what they're sneaking by Facebook. Okay. Like, oh yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. What you have? No. Oh, I was gonna say. Whoa. Like well, my buddy was doing that, and he was doing the. Uh, he was he had split screen between porn and this particular girl's uh, Facebook um, profile pictures, right? So he's just <laughs> jerking off, going to town, right? And then he goes to me. He's like, "Yeah, I was just randomly flipping at wh- at every whim, at every picture, and every picture was sexy." And he goes, "It was about to climax." And then there was a picture of her and her dying grandfather getting chemotherapy <laughs> that popped up. <laughs> and he goes. It was fucked up. And then he goes to the next one, and it's her and her two bodybuilding uncles with no shirt on. Sounds right. And he was about to burst, so he had to make a really dramatic decision. Do I get to try 
try, you know, do I have a, do I burst or do I, you know, hold back a little bit and try to get the mood back on? And I go, what did you do? He's like, well, I just kind of put my hand, one hand between my eyes so I couldn't see the uncle and kind of focused on her and just <laughs> busted. And I go, dude, whoa, who's that? No idea how this is on Facebook. Like, yeah, how I that just, happen? Just like. Just showing you know, me pictures of naked girls here. It's totally distracting no, like, me like on Facebook. Shit, you're not, dude. Like. Oh, uh, hold on. I had to refresh as it'll actually load the rest of the way. Was that Hitler wearing a bunny is? Yeah, there's a picture of Hitler wearing bunny. Oh, it's let me see that. Well. Yeah. <laughs> it's Misha's it's uncle. German. It's Misha's uncle. <laughs> Misha's grandfather. Oh, I'm just kidding, Misha. You're a token uh, European. That's you mean awesome. German? German. <laughs> Jesus. That's, Holy I bet shit. People like, like, would get excited off of that. Yeah, no. I, yeah. No, well, that's just that, what is that? That's Priyanka, does that do anything for you? Not really <laughs> wearing the bunny ears, though, right? I don't know. I have no idea, but it's it's still a great picture. That's just that's like, is interesting. Jr. jerked off to that picture. Yeah, that's that's no. I just there's a yeah, there's it Hitler and bunny ears. You fucking calm you bastard, you. I don't know. No, there's a bunch. Of, it's a bunch of like topless pictures that I have no idea how these people are getting on Facebook. And well, they must not laugh. Is there nipple? Oh yeah. Oh, there's totally plenty good. of nipple. Looks like Mickey Mouse's eyes. Really? Here, dude. Oh no, I'll, God, I'll I just, was doing a photo shoot, like, shoot mm-hmm. and, and, and in the middle of a club. Yeah. It, it was in New York. It was at the Empire um, Hotel rooftop. And I was like, I just was kind of random. Like a photographer grabbed me. And he was like, take pictures. And that's that's all the pictures on, on the red dress. Yeah, yeah. And I was like posing and doing my thing. And then, and whoop. Yeah, nip slip. Oh, my God. It was really? So embarrassing. <laughs> and it went mm-hmm. on for a a while, it, and I didn't know. Until oh, no one, I wouldn't have <laughs> like told how, you. Like how long? Yeah. Like can you? No, can I wouldn't have told you either. Nobody told me. Yeah, I wouldn't either. A while. At and least I looked down and I was like, Oh, come my, on. one and of I my girls. Like, I was like, whatever. I just covered it and kept going. At least you weren't like one of the like swimmers at the Olympics yeah. or whatever that that happened to, because that the oh entire world is watching yeah, I and can see your nipple. Janet Jackson without well, knowing. There was there was the guy at the uh, one of the swimmers in the Olympics at the full blown uh, variety. After you got out of the water, and he was <laughs> hugging the rest of his teammates. I'm like, that's disgusting. No, that's just no, that's just that's just pride and and and, and, yeah, it's just and in your sports, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah he just got excited. I Isn't guess. Isn't it just like a blood? Well, thing? someone told me he was using his. <laughs> no, he just really loves America. Jesus well, he, Christ, you're not kidding. There is fucking titties on here. Oh, it's just a whole. Bunch someone of told me he was fantastic. using his his dick as a rata. Oh my God, there's one where milk's coming out. I know. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> this is Can great. I see this? Holy crap! Yeah. Oh my god! I see a vagina. Yeah. How is there a vagina on Facebook? Vagina. Let me that see. is a vagina right there. Yeah, that is a full blown veg. Yeah. That is oh, has, that is every aspect of a god. vagina. Like is this what one? is going on? Where do you <laughs> find this shit? I do. I have no idea. You have, you have a dark uh, lifestyle, don't you? That's yeah. really interesting. How did you find this broad? Cool. No, this isn't a broad. It's somebody. It's just a fan page, and they post like just this photography like this, and it's all just random like different. Well, maybe that's models, how they get. Maybe that's how they get away with it because they consider it art. I guess. I, like, I guess you could call some of this art. I don't. So know. So if like, I put a naked picture of me on Facebook, I'm art. Well, no. At, at some point, you have to include a dictator in like funny ears or like a doodle bob hat. Let's get President like, Carter wearing bunny ears. Well, and I then don't, I don't <laughs> President have, Carter. Like naked pictures, but I have. Classy, semi... Semi-nudes? Yeah. Like implied nudity, is yeah, that what the term is? Yeah, if you want to check it out, they can go to Bianco Bebe dash model. Wait, that's a dick in her mouth in this picture, not you. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that right away. That's a you huge cock. That is oh, a yeah. giant dick in her mouth. That is a dick. I noticed that right shit. away. Not you, Bianca. Oh no, my god. Me. But then again... Yeah, that, was, that came right after I don't even thing. know what to... I was like, what is that? Is she throwing up? And it's I was like, no, straw. that is a huge... Penis in her mouth. Okay, yeah. so that's not on my and page. So there's no. dick and badge. <laughs> we uh, posted uh, Bianca's uh, fan page on our, uh, our fan page. And if you'd like to uh, check out some pictures. Yeah, stay tuned yeah. because I have a lot more classy pictures. A lot of classy coming. pics. There's no, yeah. <laughs> there's no dick in the mouth on her fan page. No. Her vagina. <laughs> yep. There you go. That not is a bad one. <laughs> This is well, ridiculous. I can't believe I'm seeing this on Facebook. It's like I, I think that they probably can get away with calling it like art, like pictures, because there's the one of. Uh, but you don't understand. A, I'm odd. If I get naked, can I be odd? Because my name is odd. <laughs> do we, do we you've have got to really... the art built in. That's yeah. just like how I've got I class two, built I in. I think it's like a legal name change, though. Like we actually have to consistently call you art for a while. Before well, obviously, if I put, it. I get a shoppy. Like my buddy did this in high school. He put like a smiley face on the tip of his dick. And he used to like just pop it out and be like, "Hey, Mr. Winky wants to say hi." And it was like a smile. My friend face. used to do that on his balls. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that they That's allow hot. that because I had a friend who what? did a, a so, shoot. Uh, Gianna from or, um, the, or Gia. 
With Gia whatever like from back in the day. Of, uh, Ooh, the one that uh, butt, Angelina and Jolie did, her. the movie about. Uh, really that's bizarre that I just saw a dick on Facebook. It's awesome. It's really crazy. Well, I did all the time. I'm friends with a guy named Richard. And so I see his dick all the time. You and Richard just post dicks on Facebook? That's your deal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, his name's Dick. Just posting dicks? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so it's probably a good time to do a uh, Wait What with uh, J.R. Hoffman. Do you, you have anything uh, exciting for us this week, Mr. Uh? Mr. H? Oh, I have, I have a few things. I don't know if I call them exciting, but yeah, I, have, I, have, I have things. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, uh, and, and he seems so normal news. Uh, 54-year-old Dennis Anver, better known as uh, the Cat Man or his Native American name, Stalking Cat, who had ner- numerous tab- uh, tattoos, subdermal implants, and various other body m- modifications to have the appearance of a cat, uh, was found dead in his uh, Tonopah, Nevada home on November 5th. Uh, an official cause of death has yet to be released to the public. However, it has been speculated that the death was the result of a suicide. Now, gee, you'd, you'd think a guy who'd alter his appearance with surgery and tattoos to look like an anthropomorphic tiger would be much more mentally stable. Guy okay, killed himself? I, I that's that's essentially yeah what the what what's being at least conjectured or uh, well they say the reason was because he was too catty. Yeah, I, I'm sure that's exactly <laughs> what it was. Uh, if only if only I could be more polite to people, but I can't. So suicide. Is. Fuck me. It happens. I guess so. Ugh, boy that 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 really that didn't fall flat at all. Nah. That went that went over it's like right. fucking gangbusters. Hey, in saving tax dollars. Sacrify. Yeah. Pow, pow, pow. Uh, in saving tax dollars news, California resident Nathan Burris reported, uh, reportedly had enough of the questions from the prosecutor in his murder case, uh, where the prosecution alleges the defendant murdered his ex-girlfriend. Um, according to Deadspin.com, quote, I did it, so what, said Nathan Burris, 49, who was representing himself in a capital trial in uh, Contra Costa County, uh, County Superior Court uh, in Martinez. Uh, no remorse, no regrets, no mercy. You want me to draw it out in crayon? Uh, veteran prosecutor Harold Jewett, a fierce uh, interrogator, sought to drill uh, sought to drill him uh, during cross examination, asking Burris if his father would have been proud of him. But Burris stopped answering the questions within 30 minutes. "Quote: This isn't Sesame Street," Burris said, referring to the jury. "They get it, bro. I'm alive. They're not, and, I'll, and that's all that matters," he said in court. "I'm ready to roll down the road." Uh, he said he wasn't going to be up there, up here, crying about what happened three years ago. Turning to the jury, he said, "You might be disgusted, but it is what it is." Um, now. Well, Prosecutor Harold Jewett does sound like a bit of a grandstanding cockface, you know, like ask. <laughs> well, let's be, let's just be fair. W- would your dad be proud of you? Like, what are, like what are you, Jesse Ventura, like, doing this? But that aside, that aside, um, it's, it gets even better than that. Is that even if the uh, the reasoning uh, of Burris's outburst was slightly more involved? Again, according to Deadspin.com, quote: Burris felt the prosecutor was taking too long to make his case, so he reportedly snapped his. Uh, Quote, snapped his fingers as he asked the jury to find him guilty quickly so he could be back in jail in time for Monday night football. Well, here's the deal. When you actually, first of all, when you said that Sesame Street statement, statement, I thought you were talking about inappropriate touching by characters dressed as characters. Like Elmo. What? You heard about Elmo, right? Yeah, no, I actually Fucking I have a 16 year old? I have, I have, oh. Yeah, I have that story to cover too. Don't worry, we'll get to it. They that. let you watch Monday night football in jail? I, I guess, I, you know what, if you're in county, I guess it depends on just what yeah. they have in the TV room. So how's what county you can just fucking walk around like whatever? Well, it depends on what your you know your privileges are, or if you're in okay. lockdown or anything. Too. Yeah, I mean it's county like they're all they're all various levels of like people in security because most of the people in county haven't been convicted. They're like waiting charges. Oh yeah, that's true. Just kind of jerking off. Yep. Actually, yeah, that was the by the way what you mentioned uh, in in uh, in oh boy that tickles news. <laughs> <laughs> Tickle me Elmo. Yeah. Do you guys familiar with the Elmo thing? Oh. It was nice. I have all the All right. So let me let me let me cover it. Let me. He's gonna talk about. No 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 no. You'll enjoy this. Emil, uh, uh, in a whirlwind of controversy that in, that has enveloped the children's television workshop with accusations that Elmo puppeteer Kevin Clash had been involved in a sexual relationship with 23-year-old aspiring model Sheldon Stevens when he was only 16 years old. 
Uh, now, Mr. Sheldon retracted his claim, stating the two shared an adult consensual relationship. However, that recantation statement was issued through a law firm that represents the Sesame Street star and was accompanied with a $125,000 settlement check. But now, uh, St uh, Stevens has gone back to recant on his recantation. According to TMZ.com, quote, Stevens has, gone, uh, has met with lawyers in Los Angeles and told them he was pressured into recanting his allegation and insists he's telling the truth when he says he had sex with Clash when he was 16. Stevens, who is now 23, is telling lawyers that he will gladly forfeit the $125,000 to restore his name. Stevens is saying he was literally crying during the final negotiations and reportedly said he didn't want to sign. Now, ultimately, I don't think we will know where the truth actually lies here. But however, as, a sus as suspect as Sheldon Stevens may be, uh, just consider the fact that Clash's lawyers, like, quote, like, you know, their whole get me out of any potential criminal shit statement was essentially, well, he knew the kid when he was 16, but nothing happened until he was 18. Is that that's, what he said? That's more or less like what they're going with. Like, yeah, no, he knew, but well, nothing happened. That's happened. what state you are. No, Sometimes sorry, it's no. bang a 16-year-old. Well, I think it was, it was New York where I'm pretty sure it's 18. 18. But, but here's the thing. Is that Actually, right? 17. So, okay. There you go. So, <laughs> okay, so you fine, drive, the, drive to Pennsylvania and you're good to go. I guess. But the, yeah. here's the, 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 the thing is that you have to consider is this, though. <laughs> right now... Uh, Kevin Clash is 52 years old. So at the time of the alleged relationship, he would have been a 47 year old some man. Old man balls. A 47 year old man hanging out with a 16 year old kid, waiting for him to turn 18. Now you know what that's called? Grooming. You know who does that? <laughs> pedophiles. No. Uh, yeah. Do you and really I consider do, a 16 year old you know, bang a pedophile? But no, no. I will actually yeah. play. I do apologize yeah. for my mistake. I will apologize for my misview. I would like to apologize for my misused uh, vernacular as considering the accuser's age at the time alleged relationship would make Clash a pederast and not a pedophile. But, like, but don't you, don't, it's, not, it's not likely most of the dummies listening uh, know the difference. But my point is that, dude, it's a guy who's like, you're, are you really, are you really like, are you gonna, you're hanging around 16 year old chicks if you're in like the right state when you're in your 40s? Is that your plan in life, Artie? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Gonna get hand my, jobs. My That's fucking former, That's consensual. My former co host used to do that. That must have been like the hundred times. True. <laughs> it's true. Listen. <laughs> what, what was that? Nah, uh, yeah, you can get parent information, yeah, like a permission parent slip. Parent I don't, but my point is, is specifically that it was like, oh no, I hung around and made sure, like. That, yeah, that, well, like, he's bullshitting you there, because you know he was banging the 16 year old. Yeah. Like, exactly. You know what I mean? It's, like, it's like having a fucking piece of candy sitting there in front of you, and he's saying, you can't eat that. And you really have, like, a fetish for chocolate melted on your chest, and it's sitting right there, and it's hot out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Arnie, that is fucking I like that, I like that you could have, it could have just been that we like chocolate and, and, and not an, an additional sexual fetish of liking yeah. it melted on our chest. Like, I just enjoy eating chocolate. <laughs> Fuck it. Elmo's a pornophile. Pedophile. You mean pederast. Pederast. Did you guys see that one on YouTube? Artie's bad at spelling. Uh, yeah, in pronouncing. Really bad at like, spelling. Elmo was, like, making fun of uh, two girls in one cup. I two girls in one cup. Elmo. Yeah, no, it was pretty. I like it. You should see if you can find that and pull it up on YouTube. Elmo, two girls in one cup. Now, is it him? Is it him? Like, like watching it? Like, I would. He's just like, I would. This is my take on it, and then he just starts talking. It's really hilarious. Two girls. I never saw that. Do you ever watch Two Girls One Cup? No. Never. No, but it was I was good enough. I could No, I heard I remember when I first Emma. heard about it. Yeah. I actually thought it was a joke because like <laughs> I I cuz I went cuz at YouTube I saw it just explode or it was all the reaction videos to it, right? Like as soon as like it went viral, everybody was posting videos of them filming someone well, else on reaction watching it. To yeah, yeah. 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 It's really Yeah, plus yeah, it's, yeah, it's supposed to be him like watch and it's yeah, people like watching it in real time and I couldn't you do that? And I kept trying to find two girls, one cup on YouTube, and I'm like, I don't get it. Like, wh what's the video? Are you guys making this up? Yeah, no, yeah. It's a real video. No, I know uh, it's yeah. Let's play the Elmo. I, I, I never heard this before. I want to hear Elmo's uh, response to uh, Girl, Two Girls, One Cup." A lot of your friends told me about this video. Is that the guy right there? No, that's one cup. You don't need to see what that's all about. So I'm gonna watch it, and and I'm gonna show you how I react to it. Cause some people tell Tori Elmo. That it's not a healthy video to watch. <laughs> but we'll see about that, won't we? This is fucked up. This is so <laughs> fucked up. Here we go. Okay. I like the music. It's very nice. <laughs> it's very nice. Okay, Elmo sees boobies. Elmo loves boobies. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Emma like, likes dick. Oh, oh, my. Oh. It's so gross. It's poop. <laughs> Oh, it looks like 
chalupa. So gross. <laughs> ew, ew, oh no, ew, ew. Don't do that no more. She swallowed it. <laughs> ew, oh my god. They're kissing with poop. How can they wish? Oh no, she just put a topping of puke on top of a cup of poop. Ew, oh, ew, ew. It's adorable. Oh, like. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fantastic. That's <laughs> Almost really throwing fun. Did I ever tell you what I did? What I, I emailed my mom the link to Two Girls, One Cup and said, hey, look at this. this I think I want this for Christmas. And she opened it and <laughs> she was fucking petrified. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I mean, I get like pleasure out of any like kid thing turned to, to adult because I'm a mom. So everything's like kid, kid. Yeah, you got to have those secret. Like if you watch like Shrek, they have like secret like things yeah, in there okay, for adults. Oh, when uh, the one where he's riding the white Bronco and then uh, yeah, with yeah. the cat and then like, yeah, because the donkey's like the white Bronco. Yeah. And then they find the catnip on the cat, and he's like, "That's uh, not mine." Disney is um, very adult friendly. <laughs> yeah, they put dicks all up in. Uh, they do. <laughs> yeah, well, and Little the Lion, Mermaid. No, they do not. And the, yes, Go to Snopes. That's bullshit. And the Lion King when he like laid down. Oh, uh, sex. Stuff. Again, this is, is all sex? bullshit. No. No. Snopes.com. Yeah. Bullshit. Dude, I've no, watched it. I, I will fucking pull up Snopes have you ever, and start have you reading it at you have in you like watched, an angry I, manner. If you freeze it, it's it is. It's as it's. It actually it says it says SFX and that no, was actually put in by the sound effects department. I'm I will angrily read Snopes.com and what about all of you right now? I'm in so Aladdin. fucking wait, wait, wait. angry. All good boys I take off their cl- um, it was all good kids take off their clothes in Aladdin. Can you no, explain that one? That, no, that's not that's, on a different thing. No, that's, it's, that you guys really fucking is, suck. Okay, I hate wait. you guys. All right, on a different thing that really is in movies or in a movie uh, in Fight Club. There's like random scenes in the beginning where like oh, Kyler great. where like Brad Pitt's character shows. Yeah, up. No, this, yeah. You have flashes, to like yeah. watch it in like slow motion. No, no, so, like, you can you can see it on the Flash, DVD. What, they stretch it out. It's flashing. It's you see his dick. I wish I could see. Yeah, that right. Dick. Hey, who posted that thing of that one? That the fucking Justin Bieber kid put, put beat up. Who posted that? What? Justin? What? Someone Justin Bieber getting beat up? up? There's a picture on our. Someone posted on the Adonis Entertainment oh, Radio yeah. Show fan page. It says, I don't always drink whiskey, but when I do, that's I scream nonsense as a. Why does that Justin Bieber that looks nothing? Because it says that's, Justin Bieber. That's my friend Stan. He fucked his face up. When oh, he was okay. drunk. Because it says Justin Bieber loves balls. That's, that's the, the guy that's who posted it. That's my friend Rob's page. Gotcha. I shared it. Oh, okay. I was wondering I what that was. I shared his photo. No, that's my friend Stan, and he fucked his face up the other night, and that's like my friend Rob made that. Is he watched Stan it the too. man? Stan is the man. He just doesn't handle his whiskey very well. <laughs> yes, not. His Stan's, old, Stan's always been like a heavy, heavy drinker who like gets sloppy cock. and falls down. I took Stan's virginity. Good for Good you. Good for you. Yeah, on Christmas. Yeah? What, this year? No. We Is were that his like, Christmas gift? We were like 15. Did he use a rubber? Yeah, of course. Of course. 15 year old. Like, oh, well. <laughs> it was on, his first right time. Give me a break. How, much, how long did he last? If you. Uh, was no, he a quickie? He Not very long. No, he was in and out. No, yeah. It's like the Seven Eleven that Jay was insisting I went to. Yeah. I was going to drink, I was gonna drink <laughs> four Red Bulls in the air tonight, but I said, fuck it, it's too cold to walk to the Seven Eleven. You make it's it not s- that cold outside. No, I'm a bitch. So I just drink my homemade cider. <laughs> no, this uh, this thing he made though, actually, like every time I read it, it literally makes me like crack up laughing because I can just picture Stan wastedly Stan screaming man. nonsense and falling on his face. So yeah. So the Mish man, Mish man, Mish man. Yeah, what's up? It's been about uh, two months since we had you on, and uh, I hear you're not lo- no longer with Uncle Frank. You and Uncle Frank have parted your ways together. Huh? That would be correct. And uh, what did he do to make you not want to be with him anymore? Be with him. That's the best way that, you could have possibly That's just <laughs> well, disturbing the way you put that, but I just happen to uh, be a professional actor and uh, model, and I don't have time for games and uh, pointless nonsense yeah. all the time. Like really bad pitches. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he's like, oh, I'm so depressed I can't edit today. That's all Facebook ever is. He really it's freaks like, me out. He phone. really makes me uncomfortable, Uncle Frank. Um, yeah, so he was just kind of uh, someone who was in the, getting in the way of your uh, your career, essentially, right? Correct. I don't blame you. I would cut that, you know, extra weight anyways. So you're doing good things. No, you're doing now. good, right? Great things now. Oh, yeah, I'm Wait. doing quite a bit now. now. Yeah. You're telling us you're in a few movies there. Yes. Let me tell us about them. Well, 
the original one that I first got cast in, my uh, PA got me that job. I've got to like, give her credit for that. That was with Matthew Fisher. And we were filming down in Hanover, Mass. Ironically enough, uh, just like you were just joking around, the, the actual title of the film is DJ Stand the Man. <laughs> oh, is it really? Yeah. There you go. Oh, nice. Nice segue. And me and him might be in um, Matthew Fitch. Fisher's next film. Yes, Matthew Fisher will be doing a horror a flick horror next. So. so how'd you two get uh hooked up? I met him through um a friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, and we just were hanging out and I thought he was cool and now who is Matthew out. Fisher? He's a film director. Well I from, He's from here from in Weymouth. Weymouth. Is he? Yeah. Is he yes. like a big guy? Like should I know him? I don't know. He's, I'm just he's, curious. He's, done, he's done quite a bit. He yeah. is on IMDb, Ooh. so uh, yeah. this is a legit uh, director. I'm going to have to cut you off there. I believe Alexa's Alexa's calling. Alexa's calling. Let's get her on. We'll get back to you guys. Hold on a second. Hello. Are you live on the air? This is Alexa. Yeah, this is Alexa. How are you? Hello. Hey, Alexa. Long time no talk. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Very, very, very good. What's All right, I'm going to call. I have a friend of mine that's going to step in and talk about some things we're doing right now. I'm going to call him on the other line real quick, okay? Sounds good. That's right. uh, We got Alexa on the line right now. If you uh, guys aren't familiar, she was uh, the one who hooked us up with that live gig we did a couple weeks ago at the bar room. Um, I really enjoyed the company there. Did you? I, I seemed I seem to take a liking to like a, like a few specific people I remember. Yeah, if you listen yeah. to the last oh, fifteen yeah. minutes Fantastic. of that live show, <laughs> those fucking assholes. The JR rant. <laughs> The guy's like, I don't got a name. I don't got a name. Fuck you. You look like you brush your teeth with fucking cinder blocks, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, burn. So we, yeah, we may be we may be back at the do- the bar room. Um, the the thirteenth? Uh, no, it's gonna be the twenty eighth week from Thursday. No, I meant like on oh, December thirteenth. The, the summer thirteenth is gonna be uh, uh, you're talking about someone doing like a uh, some club, I believe, down in the Prob Town. Your favorite place. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> She's only known me for 15 minutes, and she knows me well. Well, because it was said like 100. Yes, that's now. true. You can get hand jobs down there. You can. You can get hand jobs anywhere, really, when you think about it. Sometimes it's like, do I really want to drive to Providence? probably easy. Well, there are, like, I know a couple yeah, homeless guys who hang out in the alleyway downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I think I seen them while I was pissing out there. Everybody still there? Yeah, we're here. Yeah. Yeah. We're all here. All right, I have Roman on the line. Roman, say hello. What's up, guys? How you hey, doing? Roman. How you doing, Roman? Doing? Hey, what's up, buddy? So, Roman and I have an event coming up in a few weeks. We're going to tell you a little bit about his company and um, what we're trying to do and some casting calls we have going on. Sounds good. Go ahead, Roman. Yeah, what we're going on is December 13th is going to be the Red Carpet Affair debut in Boston. It's one of the shows that I created over the past six, seven months that's done very well in Rhode Island, and now I feel like it's right for the big leagues. I'm taking it to Boston. Nice, nice. Um, we're doing a casting call this Wednesday. It's invite only. Um, Cast and call that's going to take place at bar room between one and seven by appointment only. Oh, we ha- we have a lady here with us who is in that show. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, I'm not in the show, but I'm in, I'm good for the cast. Hey, Roman. Can you get to the mic. You, you recognized me. Uh, the worst voice in the world. Hmm. <laughs> that be Misha? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. That's <laughs> right, bro. Small. I'm here, and so is Bianca. What a Bianca. small world. I see. <laughs> Oh, God. What's up, Nisha? <laughs> not much. They called me in this morning to come in to, not, not to do a show with them. Awesome. Yeah, I'm good for the I have to ask which one of our models is uh, up there with you tonight. Yeah. Bianca Babine is up here with me. And she was in your show at Thunderbar? Yeah. Yes. And I'm, I'm, I'm good for it's the casting call. coming out Wednesday, too, I think. I sent her email earlier today. Roman, what's up for all the listeners? What is your email if anybody else is interested in casting for uh, models, performers, dancers, singers? It is Vangeli, E-N-T, at gmail.com, which is my last name, and then E-N-T. <laughs> How do you spell gmail. that? Send this over some images and some info. <laughs> it's a small world in Boston. G-E. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, just, uh, just send us your stuff, and we will uh, post all about it. Absolutely, we'll put it right All up right. on the fan page, dude. So, uh, Alexa, we're talking. It's not the twentieth; it's actually the 29th. i ninth. I'm my fucking calendar's all fucked up. 29th. Oh, we're ready to go. I have a venue set up, and I'm going to go over um, all the details of that. We're going to do one site when I can get you on the phone along. Awesome. Ooh, hey. 
Listen, you can give me a loan anytime you like, Alexa. Don't we? Uh, absolutely. So we're going to do our uh, live show there. We're going to introduce our uh, Miss November then, week from Thursday. And, uh, yeah, it's good. we got some good things going on. And the 13th, uh, where is the uh, where is that again? We're going to be going live from the bar room again. It's, um, it's going to be a full red carpet event. Red, the Red Carpet Affair is the name of it. Um, okay. Upscale fashion show. Very nice, very nice. I'm excited. Should be a good time. Sweet. Bar room's a great well, place. What else you want to add? Yeah. Well, it's not really just a fashion show. More or less, my events are considered like talent concerts where it's models, singers, and dancers all on the same stage. So if you know, you can get like a basic, um, just from my experience, you'll get models, singers, dancers all doing something at the same, same type, you know, type where it brings in a unique performance that hasn't been done before. How about so, comedians? Like a regular fashion yeah, you have any comics on there? Point. Can we make you uncomfortable and tell jokes about my dick? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> oh, oh, I like that, man. That's a zinger. This guy, what are you, what are you, Morty, uh, and then from up in the cat skills here? Wait, so I can be explicit here? Can I swear? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Safe Have dick. you heard this show? Shit balls. <laughs> cock. Shit ball cock. Fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. That's right. We were just looking at well, Facebook pictures that were very, very, very nudies. Explicit. We're looking at nudie and Facebooks. Art, art and nudes. dicks and mouths and everything. It was craziness. Art on nudes. Facebook, nudes. Full yeah. blown nudes. Cox and mouth. Yeah. Artsy, I'm on Facebook nude too. So, Are you? <laughs> Cox in your mouth. Yeah, wait, was that your cock? <laughs> <laughs> that was a huge dick. Are you sure it wasn't his mouth? Wow. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Has <laughs> got <laughs> that. <laughs> Too good. Uh, so comfortable. Well, this has been a this has been a weird. <laughs> this is yeah. It's weird that you n- happen to know the people sitting here in the studio with us. So yeah, you guys should come in sometime. And we can all hang out and oh, be a radio I'm show. Gang bang. Like, your face with your voices off. Well, I'll still see you on December third with Piff and D'Lo, right? December third. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, Monday the third. Yeah, for, for both um, for your radio show and for the website, um, Wednesday night after the casting call that I'm running with Roman, we're um, we're having a pre-Thanksgiving bash along with a um, North Shore Hotties model casting from 10:30 to 11:30 for um, any girls interested in doing um, glamour glamour type modeling, quick photo shoots. Um, and you can tell you guys already have my information. You can post that all again if anybody wants to come by. I do. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, we'll we'll Hopefully share that on. Find the model to, uh, come shoot on December third live with you guys. There you go. Sounds yeah. good. I like that. Some models up there. Yeah, my, 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 yeah, oh. my Russian friend model, Irina. Maybe. What's that, Roman? Was that Roman? You, you said yeah. yes. Go ahead, Roman. Bestiality thing? Is that what you said? No. The reality is filming. My show I'm producing is called Fifteen Minutes or Fame, which is based on models and singers from the Boston around area. Where the show has turned to more or less a radar type show, where originally it started off as a G rated show, which did not work out for ratings, so I had to change that right away. I actually portray the bad guy in the show, and people, most people don't like me. I'm kind of the guy that the audience loves to hate. Um, kind of like Denzel Washington, right? Oh, like, like, like Bam Bam Bigelow. In general, so, yeah, or the like Chevy Chase. Right? Or like Artie. <laughs> like Chevy Chase? Like, like the early rock when he was a bad guy. <laughs> rock rhymes of cock. Bang up job, Artie. Um, nice. We're going to be doing some work with the reality show, and it should be a good time. Right on, right on location. Expect nice. violence, sex, language, you name it. It's all going to be part of it. Fantastic. Bring the rugs. shows? Well, it's with, excluding the drugs, but there's <laughs> a, a lot of drama, violence, and, uh, you know, Is adult anything, content. Is there anything about the donkey show? Oh, well, no, that's perfect, because we are all the right. adult Still entertainment on. radio show, so. Nice. That works out well. well we're all about the adult com- content here. Absolutely. Absolutely. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jay, I got her alone I'm in the... Sure oh, I'm, I'm already what used to these guys. <laughs> Nisha, you did not fill me in. Nisha was actually part of the show at one point. Was he? Yeah. <laughs> were you really? Elaborate. What happened? Yeah. Why were you... What was the past tense, not present? What did you do? I don't know. Nisha, where are you? How, where have you been for the last filming? Well, let's see. Shooting during a hurricane and then uh, having car problems. That's about it. 
Really? Well, it rained when you guys all told me the show wouldn't go on. I still made sure the show went on, but a little rain schedule away. It's all good. Sounds good. Not yeah, not awkward or uncomfortable. <laughs> <in the slightest. laughs> really, terrific talking to you, Roman. You are a delight. Me too. Uh, we'll actually talk about this on live set on the thirteenth, and we'll settle our differences right there on the spot. Nice. So Sounds good to me. As long as Misha's right. topless, I'm there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Misha, you want to tell the story about the. Story. Yeah, tell that us. sounds like a terrific <laughs> meta story. Like it's not a story; it's a story about a story. That's, that's fantastic, dude. It's like a TV show about nothing. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, really nice hearing well, from all you guys. Looking. Sure everybody's gonna tune in by the 29th to hear what's gonna happen. That's right. Yeah, exactly. yeah absolutely. And uh, we'll sex and violence and all that. On the 29th, we'll have uh, Miss Alexa. We'll have uh, our crown Miss November. And uh, possibly Matt and Dan. Matt and Dan. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. It's going to be a girl with big tits. And a girl with big tits. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> so, who and doesn't like that? I won't call it that. Shouldn't talk like Brianna like that. Hey, hey. 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 All right, guys. Uh, you guys want to give your website real quick? And um, we'll get that and we'll put it on the website. Roman and I, Alexa, you guys want to plug real quick? If you guys already have all my info, um, it's the same as it was before. If you just want to repost it, okay. my direct contact is 857-209-09. I can see that right now. Roman, you want to give them all yours? Mine is uh, Vangelian Cayman on Facebook. Uh, Twitter is at the Roman uh, 200 dashes. And my other Twitter account for the Vangelian Cayman page is um, at Vangelian T. And any links to the reality you want to check out is 15 minutes or fame as one word on YouTube. So if you want to know all the stuff we're talking about, all the drama and controversy and trials that all these people go through and things that happen, uh, just check those links out. It gets pretty crazy. Like right. I said, Fantastic. Yeah, idea what I'm in Boston. Awesome. I'm so excited for the passing call. All right, Roman. Well, I'll, mm-hmm. thank you for calling in. And Alexa, we will talk to you very soon. Thanks so much for Absolutely. calling. Again. No problem. Later, guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Uh, later. Okay. All right, uh, Misha, we got to talk. Yeah. What's going on here? What the fuck yeah. is that? What's going on here? Are you guys hey. fighting? Shh. No, no, shush, no, shush. You yeah. came in here. But yeah. I'm, I'm glad he recognized your voice. Right? He's like, that could only be Misha. I'm curious. What's but, the controversy between you two? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let's Perhaps, see. you know, ori- originally what it started with was uh, a, a bit of an issue with him uh, just disliking a few of the people involved in my fashion show that I just had on November 10th. Okay. So he actually cut me from the show due to that. Because you were starting your own, is that why? No, because he has issues with an agent who happens to be a mutual friend of mine in the designers. Okay. I mean, uh, it's it's like nothing personal there. I don't care. Gotcha. I, I work with whoever happens to be good. I don't care who's got personal beef with whom. And it's not Uncle Frank. He's not good. Uncle Frank's terrible, right? He's just <laughs> mutual. He is. He's like, you're like United he's Nations. He's just a business guy, right? You're like Israel. He's a yeah, diplomat. Exactly. Yeah. You're like President you go, no, you, no, you can go between the tribes. You know how to navigate. You're nonpartisan. <laughs> yeah. You're like Mitt Romney. I just thought it was... Interesting that uh, this because Romans haven't been on the show before, and obviously Misha's third time in, and uh, you guys know each other, and there seemed to be a little tension between the two of you, and uh, tension makes my dick hide, so I just wanted to learn more information between the two. I mean, if it's just one of those matter of things of you guys, you were running one thing, and he was running another thing, uh, understandable. it happens, shit. It's part of the industry, right, man? Yeah. 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 Shit, shit happens, happened that's happened just how it is. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, fuck, it's uh, it's one of those worlds out there. Everyone's hungry. You gotta, you know, the only day uh, strong survive, I guess, right? Yeah. That's basically the uh, definition of this industry. But it's I, just so funny that it just, like, he called in the day that you were here, and I'm here, and it was just, like, so... No, Brianna, have you, have you worked with him before? Me? No. no. You haven't worked with him, Roman? No. 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 Oh, okay. No. But you're going to be at that thing. Well, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. I, w- I would love to. It sounds like a great show. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, but, but you got an invite to their invite-only yeah, casting call. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. No, it's a good thing. I mean, yeah. it's, competition just makes things better, right? It just makes you... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm very... It's, it's probably easier for you as the model 
because you can kind of work on both sides. Where it's well, yeah. Misha over here is kind of like a pioneer over here. You're like an entrepreneur. You're trying to, you know, build something like an empire, if you will. Get you, get you spoon yes, a lot of pots. I am. I am basically doing everything from organizing things to modeling to acting. Now, would you ever do nudes? That would actually depend on the price. Yeah, if the, pri- if the so price is so right. Yes. So, yes. Yeah. He, will be, he will be the next Facebook. He'll, he'll have somebody's I, dick. I, I don't, I don't think Facebook. anybody on Facebook pays enough. Yeah, nobody pays. Well, here's the thing. So I was offered um, by some chicks at the bar one night when I was working um, to do a strip show for them for their bachelor party. And I threw out a number. I just like three fifty. Mm-hmm. I don't know for a few hours. I'll get naked for you and rub my dick on the bridesmaids. Um, <laughs> it sounded like Peter Griffin when you said that. So, <laughs> rub my the, dick on the bridesmaids <laughs> for three fifty. I think it's a reasonable price, right? <laughs> then I could turn tricks in the back room for for, for a premium. Yeah. What you turn it? You're you're turning tricks. You're gonna what? Let them give you a hand job? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who wants, who wants to jerk this guy off? Yeah. It's gonna be wicked fun. <laughs> That's it. Nothing else for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid of HIV. I don't want my fucking guy. <laughs> I would have never guessed that. Yeah. Well, you should. You should have listened last week. That's his deal, man. He just he's. But a, the guy in my health class that cut himself who had HIV and spread blood everywhere. Oh no. Yeah. You were what eight? Or something? I was in I was in eighth grade. Oh, you're in eighth grade. Yeah, listen was, to yeah. last week's show. I told you all about my fear of HIV and why I, I embraced hand jobs over actual sex on sex intercourse. I think it was two weeks ago, actually. Was it two weeks ago? Yeah, Shay was in, I think, when you told that story. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, sh- hey, don't, don't, no, you remember where I know you from before, Shay? That's mm. that's you. <laughs> Not in that voice, though. <laughs> think of, I would like to think of a little more manly than the voice you just presented okay. to me. I guess that's just how I heard it, because it, hey, that's about how tight your game was, dude. I'm, I'm not jerking off on Facebook looking at, uh, you know, a girl and her two uncles. So, I, I, I think, thank God that's not me. No, just, it's... Poor Joe. Joe. <laughs> I'll leave Joe. I'm not going to go into detail. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jimmy Cotta. I think uh, he's listening right now. I'm... I do would you hope think, not. Do you think he knows what the internet is? <laughs> do you know like how like um, <laughs> how fucking like on if a on, former president was listening <laughs> to our show, I think that would be the greatest thing ever. We know like Adam West is like a character on the Family Guy, and he's like yeah. the old you know fucking Batman shit. Like, what well, if Jimmy Cotton is a like, huge adult at the same radio show fan? He's like sitting in his fucking plantation right now in Georgia. He's like, he's fucking yeah. He uh, he stopped, up in Boston. <laughs> he stopped off at one of the rest stops and saw the sticker that you put. <laughs> <laughs> and was like, shit, I gotta listen to this. I was and now taking he's, a shit. he's hooked. He is. He's like our number one downloader. He's, he's promoting the- us right now. He's hooked like his wife was on pre- prescription drugs. It's, that's, I think you're thinking of, of, of Gerald Ford's wife. <laughs> <laughs> so Betty Ford wasn't married to Kata. Imagine that. <laughs> Small world. Yeah. It's like me, Sheer, and Roman knowing each other on a, on a second-rate radio show. Is that what the yeah. Betty Ford Clinic's named after? Yeah, yeah. Because she had a pill popping problem. <laughs> Quaalude. Back when that was like back when Quaaludes were still a thing too. Quaaludes. She was taking a uh, little if helpers. Only. Yeah. Mama's little helper. What was it called? Dude, my dad like and would Takes tell those? me about no, you, no, 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 no. He told me about like back in the day, you could get like pretty much like speed, like right at like at like gas stations. Like it was, it had like a Fedra or whatever in Ephedrine, it. Fedrin, yeah, yeah, and and shit that was even heavier than that. Like way like back in the sixties and seventies. That yeah, you just go to like a truck stop and not buying it like from a creepy guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Thing, like actually buying it I over the counter. Leave. Well. My ex-girlfriend's sister had a drug problem, and I remember being out in Florida on spring break, and her sister's buying, like, um, diet tree pills to have a cedron in it, oh, and okay. she's chopping them up and snowing them off the fucking back of my Dude, hairy you, friend. You know what else is like that? It's those fucking, li- those, like, lifting supplements that GNC sells. Yeah. Some of them are, some of them are, like, kind of, like, doing, like, like speed. It's pretty fucked, like. That shit will get you going. Um, so, Bianca and, uh, Misha. I like saying Misha. Misha, what's what's the American name for Misha? Michael. Jesus so Michael. Christ, dude, you fucking illiterate. <laughs> you can't give me Mock. Mock. <laughs> yeah, it's because. Well, how about, damn it, Artie. But Sasha is. Because there's an R in there. No, yeah, but Sasha's Russian for Alexander. Yeah. Okay. So there could be a fucking but, thing. Could, his name could be like Steve. Misha could be Steve. It's it's German. You know oh. what it is. And, uh, so that oh, so that Hitler bunny thing really must have got you off. <laughs> what? The picture oh. of Hitler wearing a fucking bunny. Oh, yeah, right. you show yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. You distract me with all this porn. I can't keep track of anything going okay. over there. 
You send porn, it's artful nudes. Send me a link of artful nudes. <laughs> Some spank material for later on this afternoon. What if time you, do you think if it you're is? <laughs> if you're listening to it. Artie doesn't sleep. No, a, no that is a He's good point. That's a hours. huge perception <laughs> of what one time is. I got day, I got night. It's right now. It's <laughs> later on this afternoon. <laughs> I'm talking to our West Coast listeners. It's only 7.18 out in California. Okay, so it's still past afternoon. <laughs> yeah, it's still afternoon. <laughs> How about our Hawaiian <laughs> listeners? Aloha. Oh, wow. <laughs> how, about, how about our people in like the Middle East? Because technically it's like the morning over there. So. What the fuck is that even I supposed said, to be? Thank you for listening to the Italian Radio Show. A lot of people. <laughs> uh, I like to cl- somebody in Dubai is like, it's almost the afternoon <laughs> over here. <laughs> My friends in Africa. <laughs> okay, we have somebody yeah. else calling in right, All right now. Guys. This will go well. All right. <laughs> Can't go worse. Hello, hello, hello. This is Roman. Uh, hello, you're live on the air with the Adult Entertainment Radio Show. Who's this? I just want to bring something up about 15 minutes of fame. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> go ahead. What's going on? It doesn't really matter to you. Is, is this Roman? Roman or? Yeah, it's Roman, right? Oh. You probably don't know, but they know who I am. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh. oh, is this uh, this is, is not Roman, but it's somebody. Just, oh, it's, it's just not Roman. It's a like, Misha. Can we at least like establish that? Stuff. It's just a Misha Hida. Oh my goodness! Do you Everyone not... who thinks that this 15 oh minutes of fame is an easy thing, they can come on down to the red carpet affair, December 13th. Oh. They will be there. They will be seen, and they will be heard. All righty. Right. I think Kai that was inspiring. That. I'm going to yeah. watch like V for Vendetta later. <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. No, really, dude, we That's appreciate awesome. that. Do you know, they like, are dope. For all of you out there, it's the best decision you'll ever make. Come see who they are. All right. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for calling in again. Yeah, who they are? That should narrow it down. This is really Definitely. interesting. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I don't know. I'm a little confused. Is he, does he think we were talking shit about do you know, him? Do you know him, Misha? Nobody was. Do you know this guy? No one was. I thought his right. name was Roman. Why is he oh. saying his name's Jose? Ah, what the? F- There's a lot of people involved in this show. There. Right, I'm very confused. Yeah. By all it's of how this. This is a turf. It's like a turf <laughs> war. We're in the middle of a turf war here. Yeah. We're like the Gaza Strip. <laughs> <laughs> like no, South. I prefer South Central LA, but the concept's the same. <laughs> I mean, she's getting all nervous over here. You all right, dude? You got, are like people gonna shoot at us when we leave? Like, cause if any, cause if that's the case, you have to go outside. Like, yeah, you gotta go first, man. Before us, man. Uh, don't worry, no one's no one's gonna be trying to gun me down. Oh. Okay. So wait, wait. He said. So you want to know a thing about fifty minutes of fame? Yeah. What's that all about? Well, I don't. I don't get what he was trying to say. Oh, it was maybe it was like a spoken word thing, like a play like, on words, like, or like a it poem. You know what I mean? Scream scene. I mean, it was a really words, bad like, poem, but a, like some some type of verse that he was doing. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he was just spitting a Tupac line or something. I'm not so familiar with his old work. He was saying anybody who's anybody is going to be at the. I, I don't know. Okay. That makes oh, sense, cool, I guess. Man. More power to you. It sounds like it sounds like it's gonna be like a good time. I yeah. just well, I, I was just was confused very by that call. I wanna yeah. be here. I wasn't sure if he was pro radio show or anti radio show here. Yeah, he sounds like mad at us. Yeah, he shouldn't be mad at us. <laughs> We're like the United Nations of the radio world. Yep. We have everybody out. If you want to get pissed off at some shows, I can give you a few of them to be pissed off at. I'm just so confused. I'm confused too. Yeah. And turned on at the same time. I'm a little confused. Artie's always turned on, so yeah. that's not confusing to me. <laughs> Just average. No, Just the average. But I'm not. Pow. Pow to the people. <laughs> Misha, you seem like the type of guy who's really cut and dry. That got me in, but it was something Misha, well, Misha's like the type of guy who's like, he knows your shit, but he's like, he's ruthless. Like, you're like, you're like Germany in like 1908. You're like, you don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> you mean 1939? Really just like, a, just, no, the first German war. The, 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 the first war, war was war, 19, war. 1914. Yeah. 14. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, two, 1908, you were getting ready. No, they weren't. They were getting all pumped up, no, like going to an Aerosmith concert. I, I, it, it blows my mind sometimes how you have a master's degree. Already. <laughs> it really does. It's sex. Indefinitely not history or in English. Hand jobs yeah. and Providence. In pussyology. I got a PhD in hand jobs and Providence. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I can't believe we had a turf war going on. That's, That's fucking phenomenal. I know. Things are gonna get shady on the 28th. Things are gonna go awry. Let's get weird. I get a clip Let's for you guys. Let's get weird. 
How much pub- This is the stupidest thing he's done since he got in a turf war with that cat. <laughs> 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 which one's Misha and which one's Roman? I think Misha's the cat. I'm just saying it. Sorry, I hope someone calls us back. 617-606-4122. If you want to continue this turf war for the next uh, yeah, why not? five minutes. There's this the time Peter got into the turf war with that cat. This is phenomenal. Misha, you controversy is what you bring to the table. Now is it but it's like but it's like a fashion show turf war, so you guys like in, do you not like do you, so do you like do you like dance fight like in West Side Story? No, it, it's kinda <laughs> no, no, like no, no. Zoolander. Zoolander. <laughs> yeah, it's like Zoolander. It is the Magnum. <laughs> I'm working on oh Magnum. Blue steel. They're all the same face. I'll just be posing in the background. Is everybody taking crazy, Bill? M- Misha, do you have a look that you do? <laughs> well, you know, in particular, no. Yeah, I, do you I, have like a blue steel or? He does when people are like, he just. And then he I just, I just do here, just about anything I want. I am here being pensive. I would, <laughs> I wouldn't want to get in a turf war with Misha. I think I'd lose. This kid's ruthless. He's got a lot of turf. You do. Yeah. He's like, I got Germany, like that's. And you, you're fucking uncle. <laughs> are you slowly taking Uncle Frank's business? Are you, you trying to? Do you, really no, want want Uncle Frank. do you want Uncle no. Frank's business? Are you like, like <laughs> no, <laughs> doing pictures talking? for back pages? Yeah. Whores. We were expecting whores. We were expecting whores. <laughs> we though. were expecting. Justin whores. was so right. Yeah. <laughs> that's. <laughs> Are you a whore? Fashion <laughs> show turf war. It's Real so quick, Misha, I want to know, how did you get involved with Uncle Frank? How did you meet him? Actually, through Neil, ironically enough. Neil, Neil Diamond Sosa. Neil Diamond Sosa. Yeah. Neil Diamond Kaiser Sosa. Kaiser Sosa. Huh? Since, since when does he happen to go by Kaiser? No, that's, it's a, that's it's, a joke from yeah. a movie. <laughs> Kaiser Sosa. Yeah. It's usual suspects. You yeah, should watch it's it sometime. Good... It's actually pretty good. You might watch when I go home. Spoiler alert. It's Kevin Spacey. Ah! <laughs> oh, fuck. So you know what? We'd be... Sorry, I just ruined that movie from 1996 <laughs> for everybody. Yeah. It's about time. Well, not only that, but like if you The wa- world needed to know. <laughs> but I think even people in 1996 could tell halfway through that it, Kaiser Soze was going to be Kevin Spacey. Like it yeah. was, it was pretty obvious. It's a good movie, and there's good acting that's and how, everything. A but few good the, men. The writing's kind of shitty. What? A few good men. Well, that's a separate movie entirely. But oh, that, that's what you're talking about. No, no. no. Usual, Usual suspects. suspects. Oh, you're so sorry. Like, Neil Diamond Sos isn't that? Watch it. <laughs> it's coming live. It'll be out summer of '93. <laughs> fuck me. What the fuck am I talking you. about? I don't know. Artie. You're, you're the one. You're drinking like high gravity have, beer right I now. I have yeah. derailed. Too much alcohol there. Is this the, was this the shit that you this said you made? This is homemade cider. That was like 18 yeah. percent like per volume. Crashed my airplane. I took a helicopter here today. <laughs> Artie, it's like what a, is wrong with you today? Should I, should I drink that the rest of that for you? Or is it you can make it? Or like what's the deal? Like because I, I have a feeling I should have been able to take it away. Come. Well, it's not secret anymore, I guess. I'm sorry, that's the only one I'm going to use. It's just funny. The crickets one goes too It's the long. motherfucking heat in this joint. It's heating me up. I'm getting all hot Actually, and bothered. Actually, it's, uh, it's not anymore, oh. so maybe... It's probably the cider. Probably. Or it's Misha. Be my guess. Misha's the sexy. Cider. Making me all sexy. Misha, let me... Uh, what event did you win in the Olympics this summer? Olympics? <laughs> now, why the hell would I be in those, huh? I, I was too busy with an international modeling career at that time to be wasting my time even watching that. So you, so you got a medal for modeling? Is that is that where you got that goofy thing on your neck, dude? Blue Steel won him the Blue gold. Blue Steel. Blue Steel. <laughs> no, that actually is a medallion that I bought when I was over in Poland for about a month and a half. I just got that. <laughs> Now, if someone shot at you, at least it would have a, like kind of like a bulletproof vest you got there. A very small one, but a one nonetheless. It would because it would just dent it. But I think you probably would have a decent sized bruise on your chest nonetheless. <laughs> like Gronkowski's forearm. Oh, oh, uh, you know what though? I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit. Fuck the Patriots. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> Viking loving motherfucker. You know what, dude? We're gonna finish like we're gonna finish like seven and yeah, nine I mean, in the season. Right. It's gonna be oh, terrible. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go dance real quick. Hold on. You guys want to <laughs> You can watch him on the camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go dance. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> I think we all enjoyed that. JR, especially. I get so old. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, thanks for that, Artie. Yes. And are those of you watching at home on Watch Us Now on the <laughs> website, boy. 
Did you did you really get get a treat? Just that now? was yes. almost just like the Noonan thing. Almost. All right, so we got like two minutes real quick. Let's go through. Uh, oh, full computer died. Um, Bianca and uh, Michelle, any last minute plugs you want to do real quick? Um, yeah, just my model page again, Bianca Babine dash model. Check me out. Yeah, we got we have new classy Facebook, photos right? coming. Yeah, yep. Facebook. Right. We have a long up. We have a LinkedIn page. Yeah, Facebook. we'll share your stuff as well. Do you well. do any other like websites like Model Mayhem or anything like that? Not right now. Okay. Well, if you get those, uh, shoot those over. We'll post it on the fan site. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. Yes, yeah, so and, uh, and Mr. Mish. And I'll throw this one up for you. On the thirtieth, I'm actually throwing another 